Border Patrol Special Operations Group. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Border Patrol Special Operations Group, which consists of BORTAC and BORSTAR. BORTAC stands for Border Patrol Tactical Unit, and BORSTAR stands for Border Patrol Search, Trauma, and Rescue. These are their respective badges. We're going to go over with you what the SOG is, what BORTAC and BORSTAR do, as well as their capabilities, missions, training, and requirements. So if you want to know more about Border Patrol Special Operations, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. We'll start off with the SOG as a whole, then we will move on to BORTAC and then BORSTAR. SOG provides the Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and the U.S. Border Patrol with specially trained and equipped teams capable of rapid response to emergent and uncommon law enforcement situations requiring special tactics and techniques, search and rescue, and medical response capabilities. As you can see, this is where BORTAC and BORSTAR come into play. Let's get into BORTAC. The mission of BORTAC is to respond to terrorist threats of all types anywhere in the world in order to protect our nation's homeland. It provides an immediate response capability to emergent and high-risk incidents requiring specialized skills and tactics, and is unique in that it conducts training and operations both in the United States and in other countries in furtherance of the U.S. Border Patrol's mission. They have conducted training and operations with foreign and domestic law enforcement, as well as military entities throughout the country and the world. Headquartered in El Paso, Texas, Bortec has a cadre of full-time team members stationed there, as well as part-time members scattered throughout the United States. The teams can be called upon to deploy immediately when needed. You're about to learn just how skilled Bortec agents are. Here's the list of the capabilities of Bortec. High-risk warrant service, intelligence, reconnaissance, surveillance, air mobile operations, maritime operations, counter-narcotics, military working dogs, and they even have trained snipers. And just keep in mind, while that list may say a lot about them, that's only scratching the surface. Its selection course, the BSTC, which is short for Vortex Selection and Training Course, is designed to mirror aspects of the U.S. Special Operations Forces selection courses. We'll go more into that later in the video. Okay, now you know a decent bit about Vortex. What about Four Star? Four Star, also headquartered in El Paso, Texas, is a specialized unit of the United States Border Patrol that is highly trained in emergency search and rescue. It was created in response to the growing number of injuries to Border Patrol agents and migrant deaths along U.S. borders. It mainly assists injured or stranded migrants who enter the United States illegally from Mexico at remote desert locations. Four Star provides specialized law enforcement, search and rescue response from conventional to high-risk Border Patrol operations, FEMA mission assignments, national search and rescue operations, national special security events, and specialized training support directed by the DHS for both domestic and foreign government agencies. It is the only national law enforcement search and rescue entity with the capability to conduct tactical medical search and rescue training for federal, state, local, and international government agencies. The more you know, right? Alright, so you know about BORTAC and BORSTAR. What about their training and selection processes? And don't forget, in order to get into these agencies, you got to get into the Border Patrol in the first place. We'll briefly go over the down and dirty of that after we talk about their pipelines. We're going to go over BORTAX training first. So as we said before, BORTAX BSTC mirrors other soft training pipelines. The screening program to qualify for BORTAX training and the actual training course are some of the most demanding selection processes in the law enforcement profession. 70% do not make the cut. That should speak for itself. You also have to be a Border Patrol agent for at least two years. Lasting over a month, BSTC has physical testing involving push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, a mile and a half and 300 meter run, and a pistol qualification. These are some of the basic qualifications for the physical test. 
Hey there, we hope that you're enjoying the video so far. General Discharge has a Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider joining the team. Links in the description. Now back to the video. Remember, these may be subject to change. 300 meter run in 54 seconds or less, 42 sit-ups in one minute, 40 push-ups in no time limit, eight pull-ups, a mile and a half run in 11 minutes or less, and shoot over a 324 in your pistol qual. You'll get familiar with the pistol qualification in the academy. Candidates who pass the initial testing must then complete a timed six mile ruck march with a weighted pack. Additional testing is performed for swimming, treading water, and drown proofing. After completing the entire testing phase, candidates undergo weeks of intense training in small unit tactics, operational planning, advanced weapon skills, defensive tactics, and air mobile operations. Before graduating and putting on the BORTAC wings, Candidates must demonstrate the ability to function in a team environment under stress and sleep deprivation conditions. If you make it through, you will return to your respective sector and work alongside other operators while learning advanced techniques in weapons and tactics. Okay, so you know about BORTAC's selection process. So let's move on to BOR stars. Like BORTAC, you must have two years of service as a Border Patrol agent before you can apply for BOR star. The training pipeline for BOR star is called the STC which stands for Selection and Training Course. As you probably noticed, this is very similar to Vortex BSTC, except for some reason, theirs doesn't get a B in it. We don't know why, but we're rolling with it. In order to get into the STC, candidates must complete a qualifying physical fitness and swim test. We're going to give you the minimums here, and just remember, these are subject to change. These are the physical requirements they are looking for. A minimum of seven pull-ups, 40 push-ups in no time limit, 60 sit-ups in 2 minutes, a mile and a half run in 11 minutes or less, and a 250-yard swim. It is a physically and mentally demanding course where candidates are evaluated and trained in various search and rescue techniques, tactical medicine, tactical rescue, land navigation, communication, swift water rescue, air operations, and the ability to work in a cohesive unit. In other words, they learn a lot of stuff in this course. The course days may last as long as 16 hours, with lack of sleep and stress factors playing key roles in determining if a candidate can handle providing care under pressure situations. Now you're probably wondering how you can get into the Border Patrol. Located in Artesia, New Mexico, you'll have to go through the six month long course that is known as the CPB Border Patrol Academy. The basic requirements to join the Border Patrol are as follows. Be a US citizen, have a valid driver's license, have resided in the U.S. for at least three of the last five years, with an exception for military, be eligible to carry a firearm, and be referred for selection prior to your 40th birthday. There are waivers available for veterans. Now before you go, we got some more information for you. If you're interested in other U.S. law enforcement agencies and entities, we've done videos on some of them. We got a video on the U.S. Marshals, Secret Service, the FBI's hostage rescue team, and the FBI's SWAT teams. Go check them out if you haven't already. Well, that is the down and dirty of the U.S. Border Patrol's Special Operations Group. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Naja. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.